It's a little more than a week now that the horses who have come from overseas have been here at the TAB International Horse Centre here at Werribee and the work is starting to step up with some of them having their first Australian start very soon. This morning we saw Brett Preble make his way to Werribee to ride Lucky Nine. He's had a very successful association with this horse overseas and he's going to be reunited with Lucky Nine in the Sporting Bet Manicato Stakes on Cox Plate Eve. Faster work this morning from Lucky Nine, the five-time Group 1 winner, including its last start win in the Singapore International Sprint back in May. Lucky Nine, a sleek machine, and we're looking forward to seeing it step out at Mooney Valley. Of the staying prospects, Dan Dino. In his 25 starts, this seven-year-old has raced in England, Scotland, Canada, Japan, Hong Kong, and had his latest victory in the Group 1 American St Ledger. This horse is owned by the same connections as Jackalbury, who ran third in the Melbourne Cup last year and also won the American St Ledger 12 months ago as well. So they'll be hoping that they can snag something, if not better than third placing, hopefully a win in the Melbourne Cup for Dan Dino. He'll also start in the Caulfield Cup coming up in a couple of weeks. Well, OTI Racing are strengthening their European contingent with Rossello, who also had a gallop this morning. It's hoping to gain a run in the Emirates Melbourne Cup. Rossello's by the Irish side Cave Cross, who also side pre Delarc de Triomphe winner See the Stars and two-time Hong Kong champions mile Victor Abel won. Four wins in 16 starts for this horse. It'll be inter interesting to see how he progresses as he's never started over 2,400 metres. To Simonon, who's trained by Willie Mullins in Ireland and ridden in his track work by Willie's son Emmett. Simonon is an out and out stayer, just shows every prospect of that. A winner at Royal Ascot last year, beating Shawadi, who won last year's Herbert Power handicap, has been a re regular performer at two miles plus and was at his dour best, beaten only narrowly in the Ascot Gold Cup this year at the Royal Meeting last June. That was by the Queen's Horse estimate. Well, a horse we're going to see step out in seven days' time is Trevier. It's trained by Marcus Neger from France and ridden in its work by Stephanie Neger, who also strapped American to its victories, including the Melbourne Cup going back over the last three or four years. Trevier is set to start in the Tourac Handicap next week, the first internationally trained horse to gain a start in that Group 1 race. So it'll be very interesting to see Trevier go around and as it clicks up its work this week, did some very fast work this morning and looked pretty good striding out to the line. You can keep up with all the news here from Werribee and also view all the profiles on the international horses competing at this year's carnival. One place to head and that's springracingcarnival.com.au Get back on track, Victoria. The Spring Racing Carnival. It's time for some real entertainment. Visit springracingcarnival.com.au You know you want to.